Welcome to another video. And today we are going to learn how to convert a Google form into a Word document. I have two ways in which you can do it. So let's go. So I'm going to go into my email. So when I go in my email, I can go to the Google app, go to classroom. Say for instance, you had already um, did this Google form and place it in your Google Classroom, that's fine. We can go there and retrieve that Google form. All right, so let's go. So I'm, I'm just randomly going to one of my classes and I'm going to look for a Google form that I did. Right, let's go with this diagnostic test. Then I open and when I open, all I need to do is just copy. So I'm just going to randomly copy maybe about 10 questions. Let's stop at 10. And you copy. Then I'm going to open a raw document. Forgive me if my background is black. <laughs> so this is a raw document. All you, need, all you need to do is just copy. So all you need to do now, you can take off the editing. And you can create your own editing here so you can edit the document, all right? So you can put the name and you can put your teacher. So you're actually getting the GIF, right? And then you take off these asterisk that you have and the points, you have to remove like the points because remember in the Google form, you have the points. You can edit and do your stuff. So I'm just going to remove the points. So you don't have to type all over and we actually get the GIF. So we take off the points. So we are number three, enter. And we already know how to use Microsoft Word, right? So we take off those points. I'm at number four, take out the asterisk, point. You can edit your form so you don't have to type all over. Again, this is another point. You put the point, you put the red. And you actually get the GIF. Uh, this is another one, so I'm just doing 10 here. There you go. And there, there we have our test. Thank you. All right, this is another way. So let me minimize that one or close that one. Go to my email again. And say for instance, you did not assign it to a Google Classroom. You had it in your drive, right? So you go to your drive. So in your drive, you will have all these words that you did. So I'm just, just going to randomly again, choose a class. All right, so I choose a drive that I have my Google form in which I did not assign it to any student. I just have it in my drive. So when I open, I can't copy from the drive like this. I have to go to the three dots where you see more, click more, but then you have get pre-link get pre-fill link when you select that the option will be there for you to copy now so now you can copy so you copy like we did before go to microsoft word let me minimize my page open a word document let's open a new document and then we paste and you paste, as we said before, you can remove the heading, you can write your own heading, examination, you know the GIF. Take out the points, take out the asterisk, and then you have your test. All right, thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned something today.